Hajj Shahid, let's, let's do Surat Al Qadr, Surat 97, inshaAllah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها سلام هي حتى ما طلع الفجر صدق الله العلي العظيم <تصفيق> صدق الله العظيم وبارك رسول الكريم رسول الكريم حبيب العظيم إن شاء الله always a reminder from myself that the, these holy nights for those whom Allah take to the path of muhabbat and love and the path of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah give to them an understanding of Qur'an that others don't understand. Qur'an is a guidance for them and an ocean of immense realities. Mankind comes from their level to interpret and anyone want to know levels of interpretation, we watch everywhere and we see what people understand of basic understandings and how little that understanding is there and the immensity of Allah's oceans of reality. So when the Arafin begin to teach from these oceans of reality people are astonished and not understanding. When Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is the crown of creation already that is the ocean of the the flag and the reality and the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad and Zalnahu is no mention in this ayah of the Qur'an, it's their interpretation. So when you want to see how people are interpreting, immediately they, they put in that the, this is the time in which the Qur'an Indeed we sent the Qur'an down during the night of power but the ayah only says, in anzalnahu, there's no mention of Qur'an. But because they want to take away the recognition of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad commonly is used to a, a different noun. But Allah whom Allah guides, Allah guides. Anzalnahu, if the students are taught the reality of who is the key of the Divinely Presence, that the 
Hey and wow that talk so much for who? You say ha, some people say hey, it's the hey at the end of Allah the ha at the end of Allah with the wow is who? And that has to do with hidayat and guidance and wow for wadood. So many times we talk, this is the, the ultimate station of the soul in which Allah took the soul, the nafs, the reality through all its cleansings, <coughs> brought it up to the reality of Divine Love. And, and in these oceans of Divine Love Allah revealed His secret. I'm a hidden treasure, not everybody knows. I want to be known but doesn't mean that I am known. And Allah reflecting that treasure on the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad This is a eight months of journeying with the shaykhs, the awliya, those whom are guided to bring us to this ocean of annihilation. And this is the journey into the ocean of who, in which Allah is reflecting His Divinely reality, His Divinely essence into the essence and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And the reality of Prophet is the who, is the perfection of who. The who of Allah will never be understood. So that's not for us to look there. That's why in everything they teach, they teach the marifah of Sayyidina Muhammad marifatullah. When Allah loves you, He wants to show you what He loves. He's not going to show you Himself, that's for Sayyidina Muhammad I'll show you my reflection, I'll show you everything I, I wanted to be known by of love, of, of every beatific reality, khuluqul azim and I put it into Muhammadun Rasulullah And the loop, the, the oil of the kernel of every reality, it's like if the reality is something and you squeeze it, the oil that you squeeze out is the essence. So the rose is beautiful but when you squeeze the rose and take its oil, that's where the value is. So it means when Allah dressing us and taking us into the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah all the way into the ocean of Manzil Qur'an and the heart of Divine the Presence in which Allah purifies to reveal His Holy Qur'an, His Divinely speech. So then Allah is anzalnahu that our, our emanation is to the reality of this who. Whatever people, 99% of the others waiting for Laylatul Qadr, alhamdulillah Allah's rahmah is infinite. When Allah want to give arifin it's not anything for them to guess. It's not for them to stand outside and wait for a bus to pick them up. They are in a continuous ocean of that reality. And one time in a year Allah opens the reality for people to come in. Anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. So many times Laylatul Qadr, nine letters to the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad and the importance of the reality of nine, the ninth month and that nine is the gateway to annihilation because anything in the presence of this king is nothing, you will be annihilated. So the ticket into the presence of the king is siyam and fasting. That don't come with any ego, don't come with anything, that you fast to enter into this point of being a nuqt. To be khashya, dust, like Sayyidina Musa wanting to see and when Allah revealed like a dust, he died and then was reborn into a new reality. And then nahu fi Laylatul Qadr that this state of Layl 
and that every event for us is a night because Allah give to us to understand your event doesn't come in a busy day in the middle of working and oh this is going to be Laylatul Qadr and I'm working, running. The dunya is busy with dunya activities in the day and the day is a time in which to take what dressing has been come. But when is Allah opening the reality is always by the reality of Layl which is night time and a state for those who are Arafeen and trying to train with Arafeen everything is in tafakkur, in your contemplation, in your state of annihilation. That did you make yourself a Layl? Did you make yourself to not manifest, not worry about your station, not worry about your reality, not worry about who you think you are? Remember we said at the beginning of the journey, if you're coming to find out about yourself and your relationship with Allah, who you are, the importance of the role you play, you're not Layl, you're dunya, you're manifesting. This journey its reality opens for those whom Allah crushed and gave an understanding of crushing that I don't exist and if I do exist Nancy and Mansia that I wish I was in a state of non-existent. That every difficulty that came to our lives was to be non-existent, feel like a shadow that walking. Not my life is in my hand, not my death is in my hand, not my rizq and sustenance in my hand, nothing has to do with me. Not trying to hold everything. That's why when they read Qur'an it's not about them, it's not about their relationship and Allah speaking to them. That was at the beginning to come to Islam, why you have to know about yourself? You're supposed to be non-existent, what does it matter what you think it is? You don't exist. Every time you talk like that you're showing you still have too much existence in yourself. When you say that I don't exist, I'm but a shadow reading these ayat al kareem This is about Allah and what He gave as address to Sayyidina Muhammad So they teach you to annihilate. Every time sit and meditate, I'm nothing, I don't exist Ya Rabbi, I've done every choice that I make is wrong. Everything about myself is wrong. You created me with a gift and a purpose. I want to bring the secret out, my bad character, my bad desires, block everything. So the whole turuq is about crushing, crushing, crushing myself, I'm nothing, I'm nothing, I'm nothing. When I'm nothing, I'm entering into layl. And that is the reality of annihilation, Layl that they became like darkness, like a shadow. You don't see them, they're not trying to manifest, they're not trying to, to find the importance of themselves. As much as they annihilated themselves, they were dressed deeper and deeper into the oceans of these realities. And so what Allah says, it sent this reality to Janaba who? Fi Laylatul Qadr is that he annihilate yourself to your state of nothingness and to enter into these oceans of power. And these oceans of power are in nowhere, nowhere, nowhere but Manzil Qur'an. You don't take from the bottom of the ocean and the waterfall that just sprinkling through every effect every guru, guru, every type of practice, it has sprinkles of power. But Allah directing us ayat kareem anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr that you should have been taught and understood your coding. That this anzalnahu is eternally every dress, it doesn't mention only Qur'an says that, I'm continuously anzalnahu, my tajalli is continuously upon who? Its secret is Laylatul Qadr that you don't manifest and ask, ask in all your, your muraqabah and your teaching that let me to enter the ocean of power, not the ocean of seeing, not the ocean of this, not the ocean of that, 
but to the power, to the journey to the Lord of power. I don't want the visions that you want to send me, I don't want the distractions that will allure me like a child on a tour bus. All tariqahs they lose their students by vision. As soon as they start to see something they think they're very big and that was nafs al lawama. The shaitan plays with them thinking they're seeing something, they're big on something and they be lost. Naqshbandiya keeps the veil to the end and give you just hints based on good character if they see the good character and the understanding. So this, this reality of layl is our whole life is this tafakkur that take away the manifestation, take away and annihilate, annihilate Allah giving a code that anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr, reach to this ocean of power. This ocean of power where manzil Qur'an is emanating is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and that is la hawla wa la quwwata. There's, there's no help hawla and no quwwa except in this reality. We don't have to take it here and take it there, we have to reach, our destination is to reach to the ocean of power that emanating in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad I don't need it from here, don't need it from there. Now only Allah come into our life as a representation because if they understood these practices and they understood layl and they understood tafakkur and they understood to be nothing, they're holding that ocean of power and they have an immense amount of qudra. Their proximity, no proximity, just listening to them, understanding your tafakkur and the reason they exist is to emanate that power from the power station. So these power plants are everywhere to bring people back to the heart of the reality and the heart and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So this is our first step. Wa madraka Laylatul Qadr What is this Laylatul Qadr? This ocean of power we're describing to reach into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Better than a thousand months, better than a thousand months because this journey is the entire journey of our reality. This is not a temporary thing that we, we want to do this, we want to do a little bit of this. Allah is describing this power that you're trying to reach to, it's better than a thousand months. 83 years, it's better than your whole lifetime that the whole purpose of our existence was to come onto this earth and Allah was a hidden treasure and we're supposed to be hunting for that treasure. And if you're trying to reach to this power ocean, khairu min alfi shahar, better than your entire life journey to reach to this ocean and the turuqs exist for that reality to bring that reality. So no doubt then Allah is describing tanzal al-malaikati wa ruh fi bi'idni rabbihim in kullul amr that from the heart of that ocean of power that's when we described the years before. Allah is giving for us the, the, this, this qalb of power. It's the source of every reality and bi'idhnillah that this is not somebody come back and say, this is a shirk. No, Allah is just saying, no, this is with my command. Wa tanzala malaika that all angels and the secret of the ruh, which is the highest reality of the Muhammadan light, is taking every amr. Bi'idni rabbihim kullun amr. 
So this is the headquarters of the, the bullseye, this circle of our life, this is the reality of the center. Allah describing, annihilate yourself, leave the circumference, come to the center. As you're entering into this center, this is a, a center of power that the angels and the ruh are taking every command from this location. Bi-idhnillah. So all, all the cuckoo people who come and keep saying, shirk, shirk, what are you talking about? Allah is describing like a certificate, no this is all by my command, this is how I've created this creation. This center of power, this reality of power that emanating from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad bi-idhnillah but the permission of Allah that all the angels and the ruh of what reality it contains of the Muhammadan reality, kullun amr, kullun. That every single command, when Allah says, kullun, you can't say, well the command of this is outside of that. No, every single command is in this ocean of power. Mm. What, what, what could you possibly think is outside of this command? Whose food? Whose sustenance? Who's the awliya? Who's the Ahlul Bayt? Who's the Asab? Who are the angels? Who are the Budala? Who are the Nujab? Who are the jinn? Who are the malaika? What are the commands? What is the food? What is the sustenance? All the created universe is nothing. Think about all of the heavens and paradises and every command to comes to all this creation which our mind can't even phantom to understand. Just look at you know just the dunya part of the galaxies and billions and billions of universes and inside those universes billions of uh, galaxies, planets and in each one billions of creation and each creation you know hundreds of millions of cells. All <laughs> every every single thing keep going smaller, 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 all of them require amrillah, all of them require a command from Allah Nothing operates outside of Allah's command and Allah is revealing and, and Qadr when Allah is describing power, it's not mine and your power understanding of electricity. Allah is just saying, no, no guys this is the power of the entire created creation where every angel because he wants to give the, the highest level. If the angels and the ruh and all their command kullun am is coming from this location, everything else most definitely is already incorporated in that because these are the highest levels of command. So there's not an angel that talks to anyone that doesn't come by the command of this power central. There's not an angel that talked to a single prophet that didn't come from this command. There's not a sustenance that can reach you that didn't come from this command central. Um, so this is the, the power station. So those who their whole lives is to annihilate, 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 then how to enter into this soul of Sayyidina Muhammad is to be with whom you love. When you use your physical body to sacrifice and to serve and to give and work hard and donate and give your time and give your effort, get in your car, you're using fi dunya hasanat, you're using your body so that your soul will draw near to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad in a khidmat that you give, you give, you serve, you do. For years and years and years you used your body to be of service so that your soul entered into that love. The only way you can send your soul into that reality is by love, it's not by a direction. Somebody can't email us that, how do I get there? I do recite this and take a turn on here and then recite here and then I, no there's not a, a recitation. This is a lifelong love of, of making salawats attending the mafil, being of service, giving in the way of Allah 
everything that the shaykhs put as a formula was to make your body to be used to push your soul into that and that's why Prophet described, you will be with whom you love. And whom you love will be with you. It's not, it's not by, by, by faking something. People can talk and eloquent talk, eloquent Arabic, well, I don't know what they can do. But this action, when your whole life is to get the attention of Sayyidina Muhammad then the hadith is coming and teaching, you be with whom you love, don't worry, just you keep, you keep with the love, don't worry about anything else. You're not going to miss a bus, you're not going to miss anything. Are you loving? Are you doing the acts of love? Are you coming, attending, showing up, doing all the things that you can do? If you don't have legs, you can't go somewhere, you do what Allah gave with your ability. With your time, قُلِينَ salati wa نُسُوخِ وَاهْمَ يَاهِيَ وَمَأْمَةِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ If you did everything you could do and you know every night when you're sleeping that my soul has to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And in your tafakkur and your meditation the shaykh is a symbol of that reality. Is the shaykh's light entering into your heart? And do you feel yourself in the heart and the presence of the shaykh? That's why it's, it's the symbol to reach towards that reality that I want to make my love very real for Sayyidina Muhammad I'm going to find somebody in your life that you find to be holy for that reality and make your life to be real in that way in which you work with them, serve with them, pray with them, eat with them, watch with them, learn with them. And that love begin to enter into their heart until you can feel that you're entering into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Because it's like those, those Russian dolls, you open one there's another one inside, you open one there's another one inside. The reality of awliyaullah and pious people on this earth they're teaching you that their soul, if they're talking about that, they're from that reality. Their soul is in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad There's not a moment that there's no qadr on them. There's not a moment that there's not a state of Laylatul Qadr, it's their soul is in the heart of Prophet Prophet doesn't beat one night a year. Did you know that your own heart has that same reality? When they examined the heart they found there's an energy pulse, they go <laughs> the most used muscle in the body. No engine can you run 24 hours a day for a hundred years. There's not an engine you can make in this world that you run it 24 hours, does your heart not work 24 hours a day? Does it stop? Some people it stops but then they're dead. Your heart runs 24 hours a day, 100 years, 120 years, there's an energy and a bulb, a lightning go and that keeping the heart to be beating, beating because it's a symbol of the Divinely heart of Sayyidina Muhammad that is not made of flesh. It's an ocean of power in which Allah's continuous bidnillah, Allah's gaze comes and the energy is bolting. Allah's gaze comes and the energy is coming and it's oceans of lightning. That energy is the reality of that qalb, that Allah's nazar upon Prophet is eternally nazar upon, is continuously bolting with energy. That energy is the source of everything that moving in all of creation. Their soul is in that reality, they're from that ocean of power. 
and 24 hours a day their soul is dressed with that power. Their purpose on this dunya is to be amongst creation to teach of that reality so that you can connect with them, you can see them, you can hear from them, you can build a familiarity with them that when I look at you I'm reminded of Sayyidina Muhammad When I hear from you I'm reminded of Sayyidina Muhammad because he doesn't exist, his personality is of no importance, his soul is what's important. When his soul you're listening to his face, his soul is present with you. When you're reading from their articles his soul is present with you. Everything that you do his soul is present with you to bring you into that ocean of power. So that your soul will be with whom you love. And when you be with them enough in companionship they're continuously dressing with oceans of power. Oceans of power like what? We said the ocean of power of Sayyidina Muhammad if you open it up all the souls of these muhibbeen are in there. These are the Ahbab and Nabi they're inside that reality. If you open their heart then their students are inside their reality. And that's the reality, that's the reality what we call Fulqul Mashhoon. From the heart of Holy Qur'an, the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Ayat al-Kareem when we describe who are Fulqul Mashhoon, they are loaded ships, their souls are ships. That Allah created these souls that they go out and they collect these souls but they're dressing them from these oceans of power. And Allah said, we created Fulqul Mashhoon, these big ones and those whom are like them, even smaller ships, shaykhs of lesser power that when they go around again they collect, they collect these souls and oceans, they are reflections of these oceans of power. So the reality of souls is that they take on an energy and they reflect the energy. And the reason you keep their company, listen to them, you look at just their face and their face will come with their soul into your presence. You think about and meditate and contemplate, I want to be with them, their soul is present with you with that ocean of power dressing you, dressing you, dressing you and that becomes the muhabbat, that becomes the hudur and that then becomes the fana when they're just so much and you're so much in love with that reality, you become from that reality and then you be dressed by the reality in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad because your soul at that time will be in that reality. So where is Laylatul Qadr? Laylatul Qadr is in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Anybody want to reach to that? Follow the formula that they just described. Anybody want to be in that ocean of power, watch these broadcasts, read these books, watch these websites. These are all Qadri souls. There's not one Shaykh Abdul Qadr, they're all Abdul Qadr. They're all dressed from the Qadr ocean because their soul reached that reality. And then we said before then what Allah describes, Salamun hiya hatta mutla al-fajr. The Salams dresses their soul, these souls that reach to the heart of Prophet their hearts are dressed all the way to every fajr, means all day long Allah dress them all night long in their state of layl in which they annihilate Allah dressing them with the salams. So then when you say uh, to these Ahlul Bayt, to Ashab al-Nabi the Ashab al-Nabi salam and they say, why you say alayhi salam? Allah said, we're giving salams on all their souls. They are definitely the companions of Prophet they're all from this qadr. Ahlul Bayt are all from this qadr of these 
big famous Ahlul Bayt and the Imams of the nation, Allah describing Salamun Hiya Hatta Mithra Al Fajr. That all and every Fajr we're granting salams from Allah's Divinely Presence. And that reality of that salam, that what is that seen lam meme? That this secret of Sayyidina Muhammad comes upon this lisan and this, this tongue of truth known as Muhammadun Rasulullah since salamat of Allah is that Prophet is continuously sending his seer and his secret and all his realities upon these souls. The end it defines the beginning of what we talked. If you're in this ocean of power, you reach to this ocean of power, no doubt the salam at the end is that Prophet ﷺ's holy tongue is continuously making a zikr upon you from his Divinely secret that he is being dressed with from this ocean of power. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding. Those whom are searching for the Laylatul Qadr Keep the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and you should miss no power. It is the source of all these powers, these lights and these realities. And if we truly love Sayyidina Muhammad then we must be living amongst awliyaullah who are the power plants, the real power plants upon this dunya, not this dunya but all the heavens, all the samawati wal ard, all of the heavens and the earth. They represent these power plants of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaam wa mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.